What's going on everybody? Brian back with another video. So uh, this is kind of going in conjunction with my new players guide that I'm working on for you guys right now. And I know there's a lot of you guys who are new to the game, don't really understand all the parts of the game. Now right now with our new player guide, we're primarily focusing on the campaign, how to survive, how to play. So what I'm doing here is I want to give you guys an outlook on Daybreak because we're looking into some of the things in the uh, in the series now that I'm doing in my guide where you guys are, I'm trying to teach you guys about red talons and stuff like that. And I want to take this time to show you what Daybreak is separately from the that guide to give you guys, you know, something to go back and look at. So Daybreak was, uh, it's DLC that was attached to the game. It's free for everybody. Now, when you come to your main menu here, you have the campaign, which is generally what you play. You have Heartland, which is uh, its own little individual story mode for State of K2. Um, it's pretty cool, but that's not what we're here for today. Today, we're here for Daybreak. Now, this is State of K2's horde mode. It can be played single player and up to four player multiplayer. So you and three other people. Um, you can have people join your game. You can play, you know, you can find a game and play with randos. Um, now, playing with randos is actually kind of hit or miss. Sometimes you can get a really good group. Sometimes you can get a really crap group. Uh, it all just depends. I know I've heard a lot of stories about people being frustrated. So me, uh, you know, obviously I, I, I stream, I play with you guys all the time, so I don't have to really deal with that. But a lot of the times before that fact, I would always play daybreak solo and i just tried to get good at doing it solo because doing it solo is honestly the easiest way to beat daybreak um and that way if something goes wrong the only person you can blame is yourself and it's a good training uh a training area so daybreak uh it's a horde mode your objective is to keep the zombies from killing that guy right there with the red hat i don't know if you guys can see that but yeah this little guy back here is the technician we'll, we'll get in game i'll be able to show you guys um, but just a quick rundown, your, your goal is to keep the zombies from breaking through these walls and um, you got to fight off the, 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 the zombies for seven waves. Once the seventh wave is done, boom, you beat it. So Daybreak, why should you run Daybreak? Well, this I already beat. I've already unlocked everything. So why should you run Daybreak? Because you unlock these things called prestige points. As you play, you keep receiving more points, more points, more points. And you can use those points to buy items. See these items right here? You can use these. You can call in a trader who comes to your map in your actual game. Not in Daybreak. In your actual game with your community. You can call in a Daybreak trader. And they'll come to your map. And they'll have all of these items for sale. Now, some of the best facilities in the game you get through this trader. So you get like the Red Talon Workshop, you get the Red Talon Bunk Room, the Officer's Quarters, the Watchtower, you get the Cleo Core, which allows you to call in like Cleo Supply Drops, um, which you'll see these Supply Drops while you're playing Daybreak too. Um, you get the Red Talon Crafting Station, which allows you to craft all of these uh, explosives. It, it's, it's really, really, really cool, guys. And uh, all of these things cost points. As you guys can see, you can see, you know, if I called the net trader and I wanted to buy some deployable minefields, that would cost me 110 prestige to buy, purchase that from that trader. If you want to buy the Red Talon Workshop, that's 2,500 points. Really, really expensive. And um, outside of buying that equipment, the main thing you want Daybreak for is the Red Talon soldiers. And uh, the best way to explain that, we'll just hop in and start a match. So I'm starting a solo match. Now, the other good thing about Daybreak is you if you want to get better at the game, you want to get better at combat, use Daybreak as that training mode because you're going to have endless zombies coming at you. Um, you're, you can make all the noise you want. You can die as much as you want because when you lose these survivors, it doesn't matter. You just start over again, play. So this is a very good place to come and train. I used to come and train in Daybreak all the time. So when you first start off, you're only going to have these three guns. Um, it doesn't matter what gun you take, honestly, because you have access to all three of these guns even after you start the match. But if I were to give you a tip, what I would do if I was you start off with the shotgun. The shotgun, to me, it's, I still use this now. It's my favorite weapon in Daybreak. Um, but you can already get your hands on one of these. Um, so once you are able to get your hands on one of these, you can actually grab this Cleo pistol Equip it as a sidearm, and then once you start your game, you can grab the shotgun out the box. But um, we'll, more on that later. 
So these blades are really, really heavy. All these clear weapons are really, really heavy. You're not going to have access to these. You're just going to have access to these. I would advise you guys, you know, either go uh, RTX blade or crusher. Uh, they're pretty good. So we're going to go RTX blade and you guys won't have access to these mines. But once you do, you definitely want to grab these mines. They're really, really, really good. I think you're going to have access to the fire bombs and that's about it. So I'm going to I'm going to kind of run this as a, a fresh player um, without any of these goodies, because you won't be able to make it to the higher levels until you start unlocking more of these while you're playing solo. It's really, really tough. I mean, it's possible you can do it, but it's it's definitely gonna be a lot harder. So um, since I want to run the shotgun, we're just going to grab the shoddy. All right, let's skip that. So uh, you're going to have a wall that's broken right off the bat. Make sure you come over to these three crates in the back here. And um, we're going to grab a bunch of ammo. We're going to grab these wall repair kits. Um, I gotta wake up this relay and connect to the Clio satellite. Get our stam items. But it takes a few minutes and the zombies are very sensitive to the signal. Let me guess. We're here to be meat shields when the zombies show up. And all of these, as you guys can see, there's tons of uh, weapons and ammo and stuff in here for you. So in between rounds, you can come back here, restock up, do what you got to do. Um, so what we're going to do is, first thing you want to do is you want to come up, repair this wall. Now, the thing is, is you don't have to fully beat Daybreak to get points. Um, it It's going to, you're going to get points regardless whether you, um, you make it all the way to the end or not. So... Um, here, as you guys can see, I'm over here dropping extra repair kits uh, for the walls. And I'm doing this because if I need to repair one of these walls, you know, I could just run up, grab the kit, repair it. Boom. Done. Uh, we'll drop two right here. And then only wall we need is one over there. And this is just playing solo if you need to set up. All right, so you don't have unlimited time either. Eventually, this game, the game mode, will start on its own. Um, so you have your, your, you have AI players. They're gonna stand on the inside here and shoot at incoming zombies. So you got one there, one over there. They both actually have hard breakers, I think, which is pretty cool. All right, and you're gonna mainly play out here now. I know a lot of people that probably play Daybreak are standing behind these walls. You know what I mean, shooting the zombies like these. But honestly. You want to come outside. You want to stand out here. And we're just going to wait for the... I could have walked up and started it, but it's going to start in a couple seconds anyways. And your goal is you're just going to kind of go back and forth on this and just... Watch the zombies. Now, like I said, this is just a training area too, guys. So it, it, don't take it too hard if you can't beat it right away. It, it takes a lot of time and practice to be able to solo daybreak. You heard the man. Guns hot, people. As you guys can see, there here they come. Hey, I got eyes on a floater down here. Now, your, your, your people will shoot these zombies up a, quite a bit, as you guys can see. Now, you want to focus on these guys. Pop the bloaters. And when the AI has the rifles, man, they, they, they put in work. Pop him. Your main goal is to just kind of get this on. Oh, Bill Goldberg! Is to pretty much get the zombies that your your people are not for the most part. As you guys can see, they're putting in work. Breath. 
but don't get cocky on me. And that's pretty much it, guys. You're gonna um, now as you go, the rounds get harder. Um, but every th so these are the rounds that you unlock the like so if you lose wave one you will not unlock anything you have to at least make it to round three to get or beat round three to get an unlock um you'll still get points but you won't get an unlock until you beat at least round three and then once you beat round three the next unlock you'll get is at round five and then the third is at round seven so three five and seven those are the rounds that you uh, want to aim for so when you first start um as a brand new person into this at least try to always make it to at least round three and that will give you the most um for your time you're going to get an unlock at guaranteed every time you play um and you're going to get a decent amount of points and getting the round three and beating it only takes a few like you know we already did the round one we'll be getting round two here in a second there it is And I don't even think Blood Plague comes until round four, so. I think round two, they just introduce you to some armored zombies. Everybody get ready. We got wall to wall zombies coming in. Now, armored zombies, what I do is because I use the shotgun. Um, the shotgun will automatically knock down the armored zombies no matter what. So I, uh, I use the shotgun to kind of knock them down and then I execute them because trying to hit them with your melee weapon is going to be really, really annoying for you. So I come here, I'll knock them down, execute them. I should have killed the zombies around them, but... Now, if the zombies do breach your wall and start attacking that guy, um, you don't lose until he dies. So as long as you um, are healing him up, you got to actually walk up to him with bandages. And uh, that's how you heal him up. So save bandages for him. So he's got a feral coming inside. They might have shot it. Yep, they got the feral. You got to be careful because the ferals can jump the walls. Alright, so that wall down there started to take a little bit of damage. I'd say once it goes orange, you wanna change you wanna fix it up. Got another wall over here taking some damage. What are our people doing? Right, so this one I'm going to fix. There's one more stage. It, go, it can go straight red. Uh, we're not going to wait that long, though. And my goal is to just make the level 3 just so I can show you guys what comes next. So now, um, from the end of round 2 on, you're going to start getting these airdrops. Um, empty out your inventory and head out Who's grabbing the supply drops? and try to grab as much stuff as you can. I mean, a lot of this stuff you won't ever end up using, but shoddy shells, more wall kits, Clio ammo.
Now, you can either bring this back. I, I think they designed it so you, you bring the stuff back, put it in your chest. But most people just bring the shit back and dump it on the ground. And... So I want the shoddy ammo because I'm using shoddies. I want those snacks. So just for organization wise, I'll come back here. I'll dump the shit into the chest. We got 15 seconds left. I want those snacks really, really bad. And we're just going to run back, grab our ammo off the ground. You got Let me just it's tight. You got to be careful. You know, you got to budget your time. That's why most of us just dump shit on the ground. All right, we're loaded up. Let's make sure we're reloaded in a gun. So let's get to the point now where I'm, you don't have to be shy, you know, you can shoot. You got, uh, because you're playing solo, like, if you run out of ammo, um, you're just going to go and swap out your gun type. Like, so if I, if I stop having a bunch of shoddy ammo to shoot, um, I'll just have to swap the 7.62, but... The, the problem is uh, people don't use the shotgun that much, so people, they just run out of 7.62, and they're like, oh, man, I have no ammo. Switch to the shotgun, or start with the shotgun. As you guys can see, it's so useful. Because you don't have to worry about noise. You know, noise discipline isn't a thing in Daybreak. But I found the shotgun to be the best way to deal with the uh, armored zombies. That's pretty much all you do, guys. You just just walk in this fence line, hit those high concentration areas. Trying to knock down these uh, armored zombies because they will. Shit. Okay, so now that there's a jucky coming, we could dance with this dude, but. He's the issue. Um, so if you got big clumps of zombies at this point, ooh. Well, I didn't mean to use that. Start burning these guys off the walls. And 
Start shooting at this juggy. Because he's going to do mega damage to your wall, so. And all these sways are everywhere. As you guys can see, it's super easy for these guys to break down one of your walls. Now, I meant to execute the jug, but of course, you know, he went to execute the armor zombie. So in this case, you know, just keep... Your There it is. Now, generally, once you get further, you'll have weapons that are better. You can deal with the juggernauts a lot easier. But we did lose two walls there. So before you even go out for your drops, especially if you're not, like, super in need, oh, that's a nice you're going to fix up your walls first. But at this point, this is all the only point you need to make it to as a new player is getting to round three right here. This is your goal because once you get here, uh, we you see that little spinning icon there on the, the, the daybreak progress bar in the top over there. That means that you have received an unlock that you're going to get something when you finish. And um, it's pretty much more of the same, guys. You're just going to sit here. You're going to keep doing this. Uh, you're going to die a lot. It happens, um, like I said, until you start getting the better equipment later on in the in daybreak, it, it's it's pretty hard to do solo. So if you do have friends or people that you can play with, um, definitely try to take advantage of that. But other than that, guys, um, and the red tail and operators, these guys that we're playing as right now, you can actually unlock these guys in your main community, and you need those points in order to get them. Um, they cost about two thousand seven hundred influence. And uh, you can recruit one of these guys to your community, and they are great. And uh, in my new player guide, I'll be recruiting one of these guys. I'll be showing you all the different skills they come with, because a lot of them, they have some uh, really good fifth skills. They have really unique um, skills here. So all around, they're really, really cool. And yeah, we'll be talking about that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, let me know what you guys thought in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. All right. So before we peace, um, once you finish your daybreak match or whatever, you die, however you finish, this is the screen that pops up. So it's going to tell you how much points you earned for that match. Um, it's going to tell you, you know, your reward that you unlocked. So because I already have everything unlocked, I just get bonus points. But you will have an actual item here or you will progress towards an item um, right here. So... This is the screen, and it also has all the breakdowns. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.